everyone. We'll give people a chance to log on. Happy Wednesday. I hope that your week has been wonderful. The weather has been nice. I think it's going to be hot again today. So maybe you can go outside and play. And we um, are going to start story time because today we're going to read books about playing games. And at the libraries, we have something new called gr grab and go bags. They are fun bags full of things that you can do. Um, there's a special bag at the Rock Springs Library and the White Mountain Library. And I don't have those to show you. I'll make sure I have them next time. Um, but the one that's here in Green River at the Sweetwater County Library is all about making a game. And inside is a blank game board. And Mika helped me design a game. Um, on Monday, I read Brown Bear, Brown Bear by Bill Martin Jr. with the illustrations by Eric Carle. And so we decided to make our game with some brown bear characters. So here is what we made. There are lots of bright colors. And Mika drew some of the animals. And so we are going to show you our game. And inside your game maker's kit is this. This is kind of a funny shape. But when you fold all the pieces together, it makes a cube. And you can make your cube into a dice. And also, we have some plain white cards. But we made our cards super colorful. Can you see? There's brown bear on our cards. And we have brown bear on our dice. All right, Mika, do you want to tell them what they're going to do in our game? Because they're going to make their own game, but what do we do? So you'll start, um, you start here, oh. and you will roll the dice, and if you land on a number, then you will move that number of spaces, but if you land on a brown bear side, then you will draw a brown bear card, and do what the card says. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just play a couple rounds. All right, do you want to go first? You're the youngest. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, right off the bat, Mika rolled a brown bear. Let's see what she has to do. Read the card out now. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Go find an object the same color as me. Okay, so you have to find something yellow, and I'm going to count while she's gone. Ready? Set. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did you find? There were sticky notes. Yeah, those sticky notes. Those were in the living room. All right. So what does the rest of your card say? Move four spaces. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. I get to roll. I got a brown bear too. Oh boy. Answer the question. What color is the frog in Brown Bear, Brown Bear? I have read Brown Bear, Brown Bear so many times. I know the answer to this. He's green. And the answer is even teeny tiny here. Oh, so I get to move forward four spaces. So Mika and I are at the same place. Let's do one more roll each. Your turn. Another Brown Bear card. Go find an object the same color as me. So you have to go find a purple thing. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What did you find? A purple coat. Oh, your purple coat, your winter coat. That's still hanging up in the closet. Very nice. So how many spaces do you get to move? Plus five spaces. All right. I'm going to roll again. Let's see if I land on a brown bear card. I did. Oh my goodness. All right. It 
it's another question. It says, answer the question, what is your favorite color? Hmm, my favorite color is, hmm. you know, I like lots of colors, but I think maybe green. Green is my favorite color. And for answering that question, I get to move forward four. One, two, three, four. So Mika is ahead of me in our game. But it was super easy to make. We didn't make really complicated rules. Um, we had lots of different ideas for cards. And I know that you can be super creative too. Oh yeah, and you can make your own game pieces. Um, Mika, you wanna show what you picked? A she little had duck. A little duck and I have some Harry Potter characters. So I picked a Harry Potter character. All right, thank you for showing everyone the game we made together. And you can come into the library and pick up one of those grab and go bags. Um, and like I said, there's three different ones each week. You can go to all three libraries and you can pick out lots of fun things. And now it's time for some books because it's story time. All right, anyway, um, let's see, I think I'm going to start with kind of a silly book. This is a fun book. Um, lots of books have guessing inside of them. And this one's called Lemons Are Not Red. Look at the red lemon on this book. Do you know what color lemons are? They're not red. And this book is by Laura Caro Seeger. Lemons are not red. Lemons are not red, but can you think of something that is red? Maybe you're thinking of the same thing. It's lemons are yellow. Apples are red. All right, what's the next one? Carrots are not purple. Can you think of something that's purple instead? Hmm. Mika found a purple coat. What's in this book? It's carrots are orange. There they are. Eggplants are purple. That's true. Hmm. Flamingos are not gray. What? Else is gray. Mm. They were thinking of the same thing. I was. Elephants are gray. Flamingos are pink. Reindeer are not white. Hmm. What is white? Snowmen are white. Oh, look at that snowman. Reindeer are brown. Grass is not blue. Hmm, blue grass. The sky is blue. Look at those clouds. Grass is green. The moon is not black. The night is black. The moon is silver. Oh, look at here's another hole in our book. Good night. I like guessing books like that. They're fun. Let's read a book by one of my favorite authors. His name is Henri Toulet, and he writes books that you can use your imagination on. And this book is called Press Here. And when you press on something, you push, you press your finger against it. So I'm gonna press on this yellow dot. Oh, there's a lot of dots in this book. And if you like this book, the library is open. You can come to the library and we have a lot of books, 
by this author, Henri Toule. Press here. Ready? I'm ready. What happens next? Press here and turn the page. Push. Whoa, two dots. Great. Now press the yellow dot again. I'm ready. Push. There are three dots now. One, two, three. Perfect. Rub the dot on the left gently. So if I'm looking at the book, this is the one on the left. Rub it gently. Don't want to push too hard. It's red now. Well done. Now, the one on the right gently. All right. See what happens. It's blue. Blue like my hair. Fabulous. Five quick taps on the yellow. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five yellow dots and five taps on the red. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And finally, five taps on the blue. One, two, three, four, five. I knew that was gonna happen. Perfect. Try shaking the book just a little. Oh. What do you think if we shake it? What's gonna happen if we shake it up? The dots are all mixed up. Not bad. Maybe a little bit harder. All right, ready? Whoa, they're everywhere. There, well done. Now tilt the page to the left just to see what happens. All right, ready? Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, <laughs> hey, look at that. All the, all the dots fell down. And then to the right. Ready? Let's turn to the right a little bit more. Hey, now they're all down here. Excellent. Shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. Ready? Do you think gentle or hard? Hmm, I'll shake it medium. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. Try pressing down really hard on all the yellow dots. All right, we have to get all the yellow. Press, and I have to press hard, push, press down hard, press, press. Ooh, that's funny. Turn the lights back on. Try pressing them all again. Press, 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 press. Perfect. Hmm. Hold on. Two of those dots seem to have switched places. But which ones? I think there's supposed to be a pattern. Let's see. Let's do the pattern together. Red, yellow, blue. Red yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. <gasps> that's not yellow, that's blue. These two, they switch spots. Let's see what happens next. Press hard on all the dots, really hard. All right, ready? Press, 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 press. Oh, not bad. Let's shake them up a little bit. Ready? Oh, it looks like a rainbow. Perfect, isn't it? Try blowing on them to get rid of all of the black. I'm going to take a deep breath into my lungs. Ready? Go. Whoa. Hmm. Maybe a bit harder. Okay, I'm gonna take a really deep breath. Oops, look at all the dots, they're gone. That 
that might have been a little bit too hard. Stand the book up straight to make those dots drop down again. Ready? Ooh. Whoa, there you go. That's perfect. Now clap your hands once. Can you help me at home? Ready? Clap. Whoa, what happened to the dots? They're bigger now. Clap twice. Ready? Three times. Whoa, clap more, more. Keep clapping, clap, 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 clap. Keep clapping at home, let's see. Whoa, even bigger. Keep clapping, clap, 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 clap. Keep clapping, more, more. Let's see what happens. More, more clapping, come on, keep going. Oh my goodness, look how big this yellow is. Uh oh, I think you clapped too loud. Quick, press the white button. Hmm. Bravo. Want to do it all over again? And look at it says back to the beginning this way. And that's press here by Henri Toulet. Let's read a book about hide and seek. Because playing hide and seek is lots of fun and you can do it with anybody. This one is called Bob and Flo Play Hide and Seek. And it's by Rebecca Touchdown. And they are penguins. Bob and Flo hide and seek. It's a fun game to play. It was a rainy day. Bob came to preschool with his umbrella. Can you see Bob? His umbrella is covering his whole head. Hello, said Bob. Oh, hello, said Flo and Sam. We didn't see you hiding under there. Bob and Flo and Sam decided to play hide and seek. I'll hide first, said Bob. Counting to 20 is hard. So Flo and Sam counted to 10 twice. Bob found a good place to hide. Do you think this is a good place for Bob the penguin to hide? I can still see him. Hmm. But Flo and Sam found him right away. You have to hide behind something, said Sam. So Bob tried again. Hmm, what does he have? That looks like a big spoon or a mirror. I can't see his face, but he was too easy to find. You have to disappear, said Flo. One more try, said Bob. Maybe Bob needs time to hide, said Sam. So they waited. Flo and Sam played in the kitchen corner. While Bob thought very hard about how to disappear. I see he's thinking about something, but he must have an idea. Ready or not, here we come, said Flo and Sam. But where was Bob? Can you see him? He's doing a really good job of hiding. Nowhere, they can't find him. Ta-da, here I am. You disappeared, Bob, said Flo and Sam. Wonderful hiding. And Bob thought Flo and Sam's cake was wonderful as, or wonderful too. The end.
that's a good feeling when you're playing hide and seek and no one can find you and then you get to jump out and you get to say, ta-da, here I am, you didn't find me. That's also fun. Well, thank you for joining me for story time. Remember to go get your grab and go craft bags from any of the libraries. And I will see you next Monday right here. And our grab and go bags change every week. So this week we have um, fun paper bags and puppets and kites and game makers. And next week there'll be a new puppet and new fun things so you can come to the library every week and check them out. Um, thank you. Bye guys.